CataractCoach.com. What is the problem in this picture? Look very carefully. You should be able to figure it out. Let me show you this case. It's an otherwise routine case. Cortical cataract. Nice capsorexis has been performed there. Very well centered and round. And they're taking out that anterior lens capsule. So this is a good rexus. Cortical cataract. A little higher dissection being performed now. This is a relatively soft lens. So the certain here is going to get the lens prolapsed out of the capsule bag. A little visco dissection. That's a nice technique. I like that. Now it's time for the phaco probe going inside the eye. And this soft lens can be emulsified relatively easily. So far, so good. I don't see any issues. But there's going to be a serious problem in this case. And I want you to tell me when you realize it. Time for cortex removal. That goes smoothly. Pupil comes down a little bit in this patient, and that's okay. And now the capsule bag's filled with viscoelastic. Here's the IOL being placed in the injector. A little bit out of focus, but that's okay. IOL is going to be completely placed in there. Surgeon himself is loading, or herself, is loading the lens. Again, this is an anonymous video that was submitted. And now it's time for IOL insertion. So watch carefully here. So very, very tight incision here. Maybe make the incision a little bit larger. Odd holding of the instrument. Look, the left hand's holding it in a very odd grip. Right hand's on the plunger. And as the lens goes in the eye, what do you notice? Look at the haptic optic junction. Is that the orientation you want? Or are you starting to see a letter S? In fact, the lens is upside down. Look at the haptics. We want the anti-S, the Z, or the two-shape. This is the S-shape. Look at the haptics. That lens is completely upside down inside the eye. And it's being placed in the capsule bag. Now, what are the options here? If you realize that it's upside down as you're injecting it, well, flip the injector around. If it's in the eye already upside down like this, we can actually flip it in the eye. Filling the eye with more viscoelastic, we can grab it, get it out of the capsule bag, flip it the correct orientation, roll it inside the eye, careful not to scrape the corneal endothelium or damage the capsule bag. So now the surgeon's thinking, hmm, what should I do here? But viscoelastic's being aspirated out of the eye with the IA probe. So at this point, perhaps the surgeons either didn't notice it or is simply decided to leave it in the eye upside down. Now, if you do leave it in the eye upside down, what are the issues? Well, this lens is fortunately a planar design, so there's no vaulting of it. If the lens does have a vaulting to it, putting it upside down shifts the effective lens position. Also, keep in mind the lens geometry. If it's a biconvex lens, it may have less of an issue being placed upside down. If it's a plano convex lens or meniscus lens or some other form, then it could have a big change in the dioptric effect in the eye. And we'll discuss that more in the text that accompanies this video. But in this situation, it seems like the surgeon is going to leave it in the eye upside down. Now, this may be a little bit of an issue in the future because any surgeon who looks at this eye is going to instantly know that, yes, it's upside down. So the lens in this case is not returned to its normal position. It is left in the eye upside down. And it should have a reasonable refractive result, but again, not ideal. My preference in these types of cases is to flip the lens in the correct orientation inside the eye, and that can be done with a roll technique to roll the lens inside the eye. And we've seen that in videos here on Cataract Coach where we try to explant lenses and we do a roll technique to get it out of the eye. So you can roll it inside the eye. Again, care taken to avoid touching the endothelium of the cornea and care taken to avoid damaging the capsule itself. And uh, I encourage you, be vigilant. When the lens comes in the eye, make sure it's the anti-S.